In WoW Classic, Tier 1 is an armor set containing 8 pieces of epic quality gear. All of these set pieces drop off bosses in Molten Core. However, the bracers and belt pieces of each set are bind on equip and only drop off of trash mobs, such as the Ancient Core Hound, Molten Giants and Destroyers, Fire Lords, Lava Elementals, and more. Each set piece has a 3 piece, 5 piece, and 8 piece set bonus, granting additional stats and abilities depending on your class. Most of the sets are specific to one particular spec of a class. For example, the Tier 1 Warrior set, Battle Gear of Might, is a tanking set, primarily having defensive stats. Therefore, as a DPS warrior, it may not be the best armor set for you to pursue. In addition to that, some of the armor pieces within each set contain fire and shadow resistance, which make them nice for Molten Core and a viable way to start off gearing for Blackwing Lair. I've created timestamps in the description below, so feel free to skip around to a specific class if need be. Also, this video was created to supplement my Tier 1 set overview guide on classic.wowhead.com. I provided the link in the description below, so feel free to follow along. Now, let's go through each class and cover how you acquire each piece in more detail. The Tier 1 Druid set is called the Cenarian Raymond, named after the demigod Cenarius, who is the lord of the forest and patron of druids. And based on its namesake, the set itself is very foresty looking, with antlers and bushy green shoulders and an overall nature looking theme to it. So where do these pieces drop? The belt and bracers drop off trash mobs, boots from Lucifron, chest piece from Golamag, helm from Gar, gloves from Shaz, leggings from Magmadar, and spalders from Baron Geddon. The following are the additional set bonuses granted based on how many pieces you have equipped. For 3 piece, damage dealt by thorns increased by 4 and duration increased by 50%. 5 piece, improve your chance to get a critical strike with spells by 2%. 8 piece, reduce the cooldown of your tranquility and hurricane spells by 50%. Here's the stat summary. All of the armor pieces contain intellect, stamina, spirit, and some type of plus healing with the bracers and belt having both damage and healing. The total fire resistance for the set adds up to 34, and shadow resistance adds up to 24. The tier 1 hunter set is called the Giant Stalker armor. As you know, level 60 hunters wear male armor, and the set displayed here has elements of male, with some chain links decorated around the set combined with some fur-lined areas as well. The helm covers your eyes, so they glow an orangey-yellow color. Let's see how to acquire each item in this set. Belt and Bracers drop off Trash Mobs, Boots drop off Gehennis, Chest Piece off Golamag, Shoulders from Sulphuron, Gloves from Shazra, Helmet from Gar, and the Leggings are off the second boss, Magmadar. The following are additional set bonuses granted based on how many pieces you have equipped. 3 Piece increases the range of your Mend Pet spell by 50% and the effect by 10%. Also reduces the cost by 30%. 5 Piece increase your pet stamina by 30 and all spell resistances by 40. 8 piece increases the damage of multi shot and volley by 15%. All the armor pieces contain agility, stamina, with some intellect and spirit sprinkled around, as well as additions to hit and crit rating. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 34, and shadow resistance adds up to plus 24. Moving along to Mage, the tier 1 Mage set is called the Arcanist Regalia. It's a cloth armor set with some pretty nice purple and blue colors designed nicely in a regal looking outfit. Belt and Bracers drop off Trash Mobs. Crown from Gar, Boots from Lucifron, Gloves from Shazra, Leggings from Magmadar, Mantle from Baron Geddon, and Robes from Golamag the Incinerator. The following are the additional bonuses granted based on how many pieces you have equipped. 3 piece increases the damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to 18. 5 piece decreases the magical resistances of your spell targets by 10. 8 piece decreases the threat generated by your spells by 15%. As for the stats, each piece contains intellect, stamina, and spirit, with additional equip bonuses to your damage and healing. Some mana per 5 regen, as well as some spell hit and crit. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 37, and shadow resistance adds up to plus 27, which is the highest resistance stats from any of the tier 1 set pieces. The Tier 1 Paladin set is called the Lawbringer Armor, often referred to as the Banana Set or Bananadin for obvious reasons based on its appearance. Also, friendly reminder that Paladins are only available to play on the Alliance side. As with all of the other Tier 1 sets, the Belt and Bracers drop off trash mobs in Molten Core, Boots drop off the first boss, Lucifron, Chest Piece from Golamag, Gauntlets from Gehennis, Helm from Gar, Leg Plates from Magmadar, and Spalders from Baron Geddon. The following are the additional bonuses granted based on how many pieces you have equipped. 3 piece increases the chance of triggering a Judgment of Light heal by 10%. 
Five piece improves your chance to get a critical strike with spells and melee by 1%. Eight piece gives the paladin a chance on every melee hit to heal your party for 189 to 211. The Lawbringer set has lots of intellect, stamina, and strength as its primary stats, with equip bonuses to healing and mana regen. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 34, and shadow resistance adds up to plus 24. The tier 1 preset is called Vestments of Prophecy. It's an eye-catching mix of red, gold, white, with some darker browns and grays mixed in. Belt and bracers drop off trash mobs, boots come from Shazra, headpiece from Gar, gloves from Gehennis, pants from Magmadar, shoulder piece from Sulphuron, and the robes from Golemag. The following are additional bonuses granted based on how many pieces you have equipped. 3 piece, minus 0.1 second to the casting time of your flash heal spell. 5 piece, improves the chance to get a critical strike with holy spells by 2%. 8 piece, increase the chance of a critical hit with prayer of healing by 25%. Overall, the set has a lot of intellect, stamina, and spirit, with equip bonuses in healing, spell damage, and mana per 5. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 34, and shadow resistance adds up to plus 24. The tier 1 rogue set is called Night Slayer Armor, it's a slick, darker colored set mixed with accents of red. The Rogue's Night Slayer shoulder pads were sometimes poked fun at for their rounded appearance. You could use your imagination there as to why. The belt and bracers drop off trash mobs. The boots drop from Shazra, chest piece from Golemag, helm from Gar, gloves from Gehennis, pants from Magmadar, and the shoulder pads from Selphoron. The three-piece set bonus reduces the cooldown of your vanish ability by 30 seconds. Five-piece increases your maximum energy by 10. 8-piece heals the rogue for 500 when vanish is performed. Agility and stamina are present on each piece, with strength on a few as well, with the equip bonuses focusing on hit and crit rating. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 34, and shadow resistance adds up to plus 24. The tier 1 shaman set is called the Earth Fury, and just like its alliance-only paladin counterpart, shaman are a horde-only class. This set is geared towards healing. Belt and bracers drop off trash mobs. Boots from Lucifron, chest piece from Golemag, shoulders from Baron Geddon, gauntlets from Gehennis, helmet from Gar, and leggings from Magmadar. The three piece set bonus is the radius of your totems that affect friendly targets is increased to 30 yards. Five piece, after casting your healing wave or lesser healing wave spell, gives you a 25% chance to gain mana equal to 35% of the base cost of the spell. And the eight piece bonus is your healing wave will now jump to additional nearby targets. Each jump reduces the effectiveness of the heal by 80%, and the spell will jump up to two additional targets. Intellect and stamina are present on each piece, as well as some added spirit, with additional equip bonuses to your damage and healing, some mana per 5 regen, as well as some spell crit. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 34, and the shadow resistance adds up to plus 24. The Tier 1 Warlock set is called the Fellheart Raymond. It's a pretty demonic looking set with greens, reds, some shades of grey, and horns on the shoulders and helm. As with every other set, the belt and bracers drop off trash mobs. Gloves drop off Lucifron, pants from Magmadar, robes from Golemag, shoulder pads from Baron Geddon, helm from Gar, and boots from Shazra. The three-piece set bonus is health or mana gain from drain life and drain mana is increased by 15%. The five-piece, your pet gains 15 stamina and 100 spell resistance against all schools of magic. Eight-piece, mana cost of shadow spells reduced by 15%. Each piece contains intellect, stamina, and some have spirit, with additional equip bonuses to your damage and healing and some spell crit. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 34, and shadow resistance adds up to plus 24. The Tier 1 Warrior set is called Battle Gear of Might and is geared for protection warriors. It's a strong, metallic-looking plate set with spikes on the shoulders and helm. The belt and bracers drop off trash mobs. The chest piece drops off Golemag, gauntlets from Lucifron, helm from Gar, leg plates from Magmadar, pauldrons from Sulphuron, and sabatons from Gehennis. The following are additional bonuses granted based on how many pieces you have equipped. 3-piece increases the block value of your shield by 30, 5-piece gives you a 20% chance to generate an additional rage point whenever damage is dealt to you. 8-piece increases the threat generated by Sunder Armor by 15%. Each set piece contains strength, stamina, and equip bonuses for block, dodge, parry, and defense. The total fire resistance from the set adds up to plus 34, and shadow resistance adds up to plus 24. And finally, for those who are interested, here is a list of all of the bosses in order in Molten Core and what set pieces drop from each boss. That concludes this guide on the Tier 1 set overview. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You could also follow my live stream at Quizzy TV over on Twitch and Quizzy TV over on Twitter. Thanks again, and I hope to see you real soon. Bye-bye.